the American Civil War, Franco-Prussian War, Pol Pot, Stalin, Angolan Civil War, Mozambican Civil War. And all power comes from the barrel of a gun. Kill them all, God will know his own. <laughs> I became an atrocitologist by inventing the term. Most <laughs> of the previous people, scholars who've worked in the subject, call themselves military historians or peace researchers. Um, it's, but an atrocitologist is basically a person who studies um, wars, genocides, all the atrocities. A lot of it's census records, tax records. Um, I mean, that, the tax records especially, because people are, you know, governments are very careful about counting as many people as they can, so they can tax them. And then suddenly, you know, if there's half of them are gone, they, the government makes a note of that. We're, you know, less income. <laughs> From what I've learned, the safest place to be in a war is the army or the military. A real good example is Somalia, where the country, the government fell apart and all the militias took over, took all the food, the people starved if they didn't, weren't part of the militias. And that's the way it is through most wars. Civilians have been 85% of deaths in most wars. If you have to be in a war, <laughs> safest place is not to be in one, but... <laughs>